New Mexico United. It's going to be taken by Avuka. Only his second start, the 22-year-old. Here he is on the ball now. Going up against uh, Eric Bird. Ball comes off Bird. It's going to go nicely here for Austin Wormel. Now we know it's so Yeah, well, and especially with this being a midweek a midweek game as well. Both teams coming off of matches on Saturday, and especially at this point in the season, you know, game management is a factor. You have to monitor the minutes players are playing and manage their bodies. But I'd imagine, especially if you're FC Tulsa, the heat, <laughs> it's been around for a while, so I'm sure they're used to it by this point. Kerr again is going to take it. The man in shot there, as I said. And he started uh, one other game before tonight. Here's Eric Bird. Bird goes to ground field there to out to the right hand side here now to Sian McFarlane. McFarlane will try to go around the long way and he couldn't get past the alluded to earlier to be playing just in the number 10 position as well. Here's Avuka. Wide on that left hand side. Goes back to Sawahi. Sawahi who was uh, born here is defending. Here he is on the ball again. Vuka right on halfway. Look for that match up down that right hand side with Sia McFarland who's playing wide on the New Mexico United man Brian Brown. Both teams really feeling out each other's formations here. The other way to FC Tulsa. Wormel has done extremely well. 31 uh, saves coming into this one. Here's Bouchoir. Austin Warmel does well to bail, bail him out. Avuka now going back to Sawahi. Sawahi inside his own box here under pressure from Eric Burke. FC Tulsa still looking for that elusive first win on the road, but they've had six home wins and then throw in four draws on the season. That is where Maloto exchanging a pass with Bradley Bushwa. Now goes to the right to De Costa. De Costa goes down under a challenge from Avuka and the referee is going to show Avuka a yellow card. Hello, New Mexico United. Avuka has been shown a yellow card. Back to Will Seymour, the 30-year-old from Kina. A lot of the ball out on that left-hand side. That's over Sawahi, that's over Avuka. Avuka will go back the long way round, beats uh, Sia McFarlane. He's got to get back and does well to get back, give it to Eric Bird. Good working back there from Mc out wide on the left-hand side to Raddy Avuka. Avuka just slows things down. It is, as we said, a warm night. We'll see more the X at 1860. the ball away. Bouchoir, good ball here to Noah Powder. Powder wearing 66, goes round one. On the ball now to the back to Da Costa. Here's Malota back to Da Costa. Three solutions. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Nil nil the score. Shot towards goal is a couple of yards over. And in this game, of course, being spotted. And Daniel Bruce. Is Sawahi, who's familiar with FC Tulsa as a foe. I haven't said his name very often because FC Tulsa hasn't had the opportunity to put any clear, clean-cut shots on frame, and that's something that head coach Donovan Ricketts obviously will want to change, but Tambakis just hasn't been challenged. It's the voice of Anna Beffer, Big 12 champion. Of course, we shouldn't uh, forget that 7-0 victory for New Mexico United against Phoenix Rising on May the 24th. Now the assistant there has are on my 41. You're very welcome to a very warm and toasty One Oak Field. Dispay. Oh, referee thought about blowing the whistle and then says we'll play an advantage. Striding down the left-hand side now. Little ball from Azira to Avuka. 
and that will be a New Mexico throw. If you're joining us late to this broadcast, it is New Mexico in the all yellow strip playing from right to left. The visitors here to FC Tulsa in the US. Yeah, he said. But it's, uh, it's, it's pretty warm. Now, that's a great one too. Now, here's Sam McFarlane, real chance here. Brian Brown waits in the box. Here it comes into the box. Sawahi's there, goes back to him. Here's Sawahi, hero of that last play at the back for New Mexico United, keeping it nil-nil. Dispay heads away. Seymour turns well. Johnny Fennick with a clever ball here. Kept him well by Sam McFarlane, who was involved in that last attack for FC Tulsa. Dispay wearing fifth to cost it. Hits the defender. Brown's in there. Doesn't get anything on it. And they managed to get the ball away to New Mexico and it remains nil-nil. Good play again from De Costa. We highlighted him in the opening to this show. The shade, thankfully, now is over the whole playing surface. So while he wants a little bit more from his team, but in front of him. It's in store before the players go to the locker room. Out to the left-hand side, Avuka. Flick there from the number 23 at zero. And away by as far as Dispay. Dispay over the top looking for Brian Brown. Cut out by Sawahi. Avuka goes down towards the front line. And that's an offside. And saying it's going to be a New Mexico ball. Avuka throwing the ball infield. Johnny Fennett shares passes with Kemp. Maloto thought about switching the play there does this time to see McFarlane McFarlane goes down it's good play though from Avuka there and his left footed ball finds Nico Brett Nico Brett they wanted a handball Admiral runs in behind that are going to make the difference Nico Brett with a flick here's Johnny Fennick Having to head towards the right hand side, stooping header to Dispay. Dispay will win the throw in for FC Tulsa. Gives us there with his right foot. And Brian Brown, for the first time, has taken 52 minutes, broke the shackles of the defenders, Anna. That was the best opportunity of the night for Bacchus to deny that opportunity as New Mexico United on the other end, Dave, trying to make something happen. They certainly are. Here's Raddy Avuka. Can he clip a ball into the box? He can to the far post. Bruce is coming in here. Cross goal header out from Bradley Bouchoir for a corner. Helps it towards the back post. Dispay with a good header. Only as far here as Avuka who can plant this one in with that trusty left foot. It is a cross goal and a goal. There's no offside flag. Nil down. Here's Dispay. And maybe that opens up the game a little bit in a strange sort of way. But well done, New Mexico. They've continued to go build from the back here. Adrian Dispay ahead of him, Kembo Kibato and Sam McFarlane, who's been robbed here by Raddy Avuka, who's going down the left-hand side. Kisavetta ahead of him. Avuka goes himself and blasts the ball over to the grass. Tidies up here. Goal scorer Sawahi to Avuka, who's seen a lot of ball on that left hand side. Portillo. Good left footed ball in. Here's Brian Brown. Stretches out the left foot. Comes to Bird, who thought about hitting one. Goes out to Sian McFarland. Great ball in from McFarland. And there's a good header away from Kalen Ryden. Again, Sawahi will head away to McFarland. McFarlane, both wing-backs for FC Tulsa, fully involved here. McFarlane can't beat Avuka. He's tried that a few times, and Avuka will not let him pass. Celebrating its uh, 75th anniversary. Select is proud to be the official ball supplier of the USL Championship. Choose what you play with at www.selectsportamerica.com. Select league's choice, player's choice. Here's Sawahi, wants a second goal on the night. Out wide to Avuka. Avuka now comes off for the corner. Osage Casino Hotel is your place for fun and entertainment. Loose in the area just for a moment. But it's all going to be calmed down here by Avuka. 
now. Kemba Kabata's won it back, and that did come off Kabata. Well, the referee's given a corner there, and I think a third to New Mexico United. Still only one goal in it, of course. Let's not forget that. Here's Austin Wormel. Here's Kembo Kibato immediately shut down. Dispay up to JJ Williams. Ball down the right hand side for Sion McFarlane, who keeps it in. Good run from Sion McFarlane. Does keep the ball in. Two players await. Brian Br uh, goes in. Hamilton slips as he plays that ball forward. Here's Seymour. Seymour trying to get the ball into the path of Avuka. Avuka does well to keep that one in. Avuka now to the byline. Can he pull it back? He certainly can. Good save, Austin Wormel. Shot from Hamilton. Hits Kibata.